What's going on YouTube? My name is Ray and I'll be taking your x-rays. In this video, I'm very excited to share with you all something that I've been working on. If you've been following me on my Instagram or seen my post here on YouTube, I've been working on something to help you all out on the floor and contribute back. I wanted to create something that I would have liked when I was a student and even now as a tech. Something that helped me while I was in the program and that also looked good and unique to radiology. And that is after the intro. Run it! That's a technique card, a reference guide, a cheat sheet if you will. Same idea as having one of those pocket positioning books, but this will have a ballpark technique for body parts and positions for reference. Don't have a badge where you say? Well, I got you covered. <laughs> I made one you can buy separate or with your technique card. I went through my share and it just doesn't feel right when you got a low quality reel. You got an old school badge there. It's time, it's time to upgrade you, sir. Here you are. Oh! <laughs> it doesn't have that smooth, crisp movement. You know, like, can, 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 you, can you hear that? Can, I mean, I might be a little bit biased, but these just feel good. Who would've thought? Definitely good quality that's durable and will last and not break and or fall off whatever it's connected to. I myself use mine for clocking in and out, getting access into areas, it holds my markers, and soon will hold my own technique card. A lot of use. So I wanted something that I could depend on and that looks great when paired with my card. It also has my logo. That way people know you're in radiology. You know X-Ray Ray, You're not a doctor or a nurse. <laughs> but let's talk about the main attraction, shall we? These were actually inspired by an original one that my classmate made during the program. Porfirio, I truly appreciate you, man. I also know a lot of us, if not all of us in our class, are grateful for the many things that you didn't have to do, but you did anyways, that helped us out in the program. So shout out to you, brother. I appreciate you. This definitely came in handy during the program as manual techniques were difficult to grasp and stick in my head. I was a button person, as they say at first, but I knew I didn't want to rely on AEC. At times, well, let's be real, most of the time, it's not reliable, consistent, or it just didn't work. If you're doing a portable or anything tabletop, you must enter in manual technique. And if you do decide to use AEC, you have to make sure the part is directly over the cell in order for AEC to be used correctly. This can be tricky with a patient who cannot stay still, on lateral spines, and or on heavier set patients. And I just didn't like having the computer do everything for me. I didn't want to guess when it came to techniques. I wanted to be confident. I wanted to be controlled. There were also so many other things that are on my mind in the program. Just having this thing handy came in clutch countless of times when I needed to think of a technique or a lateral sinus or an oblique rib. I was so focused on that big exam coming up that week that manual techniques were the last thing on my mind. But I knew eventually I wanted to turn my weakness into a strength. Frustrating, right? This was just one of the many predicaments I encountered in the program. So to make it a little bit easier for you, I wanted to share this with you to help you as it helped me. Now I want you to understand that these are all ballpark techniques. Every patient is different and every room is different. These numbers are meant to serve as a reference guide. So adjust to your patient and room. You will use these on an the average patient. I was also taught to shoot high KV and low mass, which equals less dose to my patient, which is why my techniques might be different from yours. Body parts are grouped together and shaded to help you find that certain technique the length of the card is inspired by badge buddies nurses and physicians use to help patients identify them. For whatever reason, I've always been jealous of them. Like, why don't we have one of those? We're important too. I can't tell you how many times a patient asks me, are you the doctor? Are you the nurse? Why can't we be identified? Well, guess what? We got one too now, baby. <laughs> but what probably is my favorite part of the card is on the back, you'll find something that I wish that I would have had when I was a student. And that's a little cheat sheet to help you in OR. For the longest, I had trouble figuring out which R's I had to press to flip the image correctly. It's pretty funny if you think of it. Something as so simple as flipping the orientation of the image was probably the biggest thing I was worried about when it came to surgery. Having everyone wait for me to flip the image once, twice, three times, maybe even sometimes four, after having the surgeon yell at me after every time, and having everyone laugh at me was my biggest fear. 
And then having them operate on the wrong side, now that's a lot of paperwork. <laughs> so I pulled this little helpful guy off the internet a while back when I was in the program and studied the heck out of it. It really helped me and I thought it would be great to add it for reference. I had it pull out of my pocket all crumpled up and sometimes I forgot it. But luckily for you, you can access it conveniently from your badge holder. Keep in mind, this is used for GEC arms, which most facilities use. Thus is why you see that smiley face. I'll show you how to read the diagram. We'll start from the top left. As you can see from the stick figure, it's in the supine position. The head is away from the smiley face. So you would press both of the R's. The next one, top right, the patient is supine with the head facing the smiley face. So you don't press nothing at all. On the bottom left, the patient is prone and the head is away from the smiley face. So you'll press the upside down R. The next patient is prone with the head facing the smiley face. You press the normal R. If you want a more detailed explanation, hit the link above and GE recently made a helpful video to understand which buttons you need to press to correctly orientate your image. Thanks GE, I could have used this. So if this is something you find helpful, would like to use and help support the channel, I'm selling the badge roll for $8 and the card for $14 separately. If you'd like to buy them together, $20. I ordered the first batch of 300 just to see how well they'll sell. So if you'd like to be one of the first to own one, please email me and I'll get your name on the pre-order list. As you can see, I have the badge reels, but the cars won't come until early December. This never crossed my mind when making this channel, but as it's growing, I'm realizing that I can potentially make this into a part-time, even full-time business. So with your help and support in my channel, I can eventually work part-time in my career, giving me more time to focus on the channel and help more of you out there, which is honestly so crazy to even think of. But it really is possible and now has become a dream and a goal of mine. I genuinely love what I do for work, but I discovered that I have a bigger passion in helping others learn what I do for work and inspiring and motivating others to get into the program and get through the program all over the world. That's amazing. As I said before, We'll get us all this information, knowledge, and experience if you don't share it. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all for supporting me since day one. Understanding that I do still have a full-time job and it is hard for me to reach out to you all. I'm very excited to see what the future holds. You have greatness within you. i see you at the top. My name is Ray and I'll be taking X-rays. I love baby. Peace.